Hello, everybody. Welcome to What's He Doing? What's He Done? Here at 48 Hours, we're going to break down these Premier League goals. Brentford Wolves up first. Sean, straight up for me. Dawson letting Norgard in. 1 0 Brentford. What's going on at Wolves at the moment? They can't defend. Dawson's normally played a blind. He played great against us. I'll keep your man. Just runs behind him. And yet again, he's at the double. Yeah, I said Dawson. For it's Craig too. Dawson. He's just a lazy pass 15 yards away from either of the men. He could have been passing it. And Brentford don't miss. Don't. They are just too slick and suave. Moving straight on then to Manchester City, Everton, another 2-0 victory. Haaland with a brace. And looks like a brace on the what's he doing as well, Sean. Uh, okay, up first, Haaland smashes this ball about 400 miles an hour after a cheeky little assist from none other than Branthwaite from Everton. Horrendous clearance straight to the last man that you would want receiving this ball. <laughs> first goal in 77 days for Haaland in the Premier League. Sean, he meant that. I'd have saved it. <laughs> you have saved it. It'd have put me face. in the goal. And uh, you were correct. It is a brace. It is a brace for Haaland and a brace for Branthwaite. And to be fair, I'd have just laid down too. Yeah. Because with that man running at me, I'm, I'm not getting He got muscled. But he is a Premier League centre-back and he's got a job to do and it's not... You see big man lie down on ground. <laughs> he's not a grizzly bear. He just but... he just battled it. He just was like, no, nah, I can't. I'm not doing it. I just need to go down now. The most classic Haaland guy. Running at it as well and he's like, oh, I'll just open it, put it in the bottom corner. This was... The... Almost identical to the first goal he scored in the Premier League last year. And he did the exact same thing, just laid it straight past the keeper. Doing that where he drops back and then manages to scoop it around the keeper on the other side. It's cheeky. But yeah, Branthwaite, what are you doing? What have you done? You've got to turn up. I know Haaland's scary. Come on, turn up. Okay, up next is Liverpool versus Burnley. Three goals to one. Liverpool just stamping their dominance here, Sean. And uh, how fitting is it? I get this one. Because what's he doing? What's he done? Trafford. He comes out. Jumps up and he jumps into his own man. This time he's just all over the place. He just needs to stay on his line, then he catches this. He needs to stop running out, jumping up, because he's creeping up this list. And I don't like seeing a goalkeeper get up this list. There's usually a theme every week, and I think this week is keepers not knowing to stay on the line. Yeah, a lot of that coming up. Who have you given this one to? Well, Burnley got one back. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure Endo knows that no matter how far Doroche runs out of the box, <laughs> he's still your man. Everyone else is marking players. Yeah. Endo just stood there like, oh, he's left the box. Yeah, I had this down as Endo as well. He's yeah. the only man marking him, and that was a, like an, a 13-yard header. Yeah, he's, Top four, he's 14 yards out. There's a rocket header from Rocket Man Doro. All right, so to put Liverpool back in the lead, Amdouni somehow finds himself passing the ball back out to Harvey Elliott. I know it's a tough situation, and he's not used to defending because he's left wing. He just watches mayhem happen as uh, it deflects off his stave. But I'm saying it's, this is Amdouni. And the last goal, fairly obvious. But my job's been pretty easy. So. so far this week's been kind to you, Sean. It's not later on. <laughs> but right now, Sander Berg, you're dragging Darwin Nunez to the ground. And yet he still won the header in Scott. Still wins the header. Cheeky header as well. If if this header doesn't go in, ref gives a penalty for the shirt tug. Yeah. Because dude has pulled shirt to the limit of where it'll go. Yeah, Burnley didn't really stand a chance on this one. No, but, you know, City still have a game in hand. We'll go top of the league if they... Up next then is Tottenham doing Tottenham things. Brighton leading this game, 1-0. Easy one to give up, Sean. If you give away the pen. You're at four. What's he doing? What's he done? Van de Ven. You're back from injury. Stop conceding pens. Naughty. He's too fast. <laughs> okay, this next one is Sean's, but I know what he's going to say. And if you give this to Dunk, this is harsh. No, it's not. It's a bang and assist from Lewis Dunk. <laughs> it's off the post. It's so harsh. That clearance is woeful. He just slid in the way. He didn't yeah, try and clear it that way. He just tried way. to block. There's no one in the box. The ball's <laughs> going to no one. True. He's just gone, oh, I'm not on my byline yet. Let me slide to get there quicker. This is so unlucky. So If he'd have rocketed this top bins, yeah, way better. But the control from Papa Sar mm -hmm. to like tap it in as well. Tight angle. Do you know what's not harsh? Giving him the next goal because he has been caught so far out of position. Just can't get back to Brennan Johnson. Literally in the right wing position when they lose the ball. About 30 yards out. Can't excuse that. Classic dunk. Being just miles out of position. What's he doing? What's he done? The same thing he's done for the past couple of weeks. <laughs> All right, Sean, you get to lead one. Now. I got the first goal of a game. Finally. Fulham, Bournemouth, 3-1. Who got first one? Call him the chef. It's Lewis Cook. Oh, yeah. Got cooked. Like He got handed the clearance on a plate mm -hmm. and then frisbeed that plate across <laughs> the restaurant. Yeah, he thought he was Greek for two seconds. He just, he fell. And it's comical how he Chose fell. the wrong boots, man. Huge miscommunication at the back for the second goal. I'm putting this down to Zabiani. He should be doing more to stop the run coming in. I know the keeper's probably said keepers, so he's pulled his feet out of the way. Got to stop Mooney's nicking this one. 
It's a, it's a nice guy. It's a little dink. A little and he does get a little key. stomp on the keeper. He does, well. he does tread on him. You love a little stomp. He does on tread the on Neto. That's rude. Well, this one I'm going to love to give because I despise this man as a footballer. Who have you given this to? Andres Pereira. Yeah. His attempted scorpion kick clearance <laughs> is fa- like fascinating. To me. I had this down as no fault, you know. It's not that good. But the touch and finish is beautiful. Wayne Rooney esque from yeah. Ense. Mm. You're putting this down to an attempted clearance when he was too far away to. Actually clear it. No, because if he doesn't overrun it and try attempt a scorpion kick, he can just volley it out that is before Sensei gets the touch. This goal is delicious. Okay, this one's easy for me. Muniz tapping, no one with him. It's actually Senesi, who was marking him originally, points to him, then forgets he exists. The ball goes over his head, he turns around, and then Deckard over Reed has just stolen everybody, and it just falls for Muniz. Tapping, two yards, Fulham. <laughs> Sheffield United, Luton. And you get the first one of the next one as well, Sean? Yes, I do. Who's this for you? Osho, mate. Get in the gym. Get in the gym. Because getting just outstrength by Cameron Archer. I mean, Kaminsky should have done better. This is two weeks on the bounce that Osho's been outpaced. No, he's he's not outpaced. He's just body. Like, Kaminsky could have come out, Mm -hmm. but he's he's rooted. So Unless this is straight at him, because Archer puts it in. Yeah, no, Kaminsky can do nothing. Like he could have ran at him. He could have done bit. more. Yeah, a little bit. But he, at this point, it's just deer in headlights. Yeah, but Osho does get absolutely spun. Okay, there was some controversy about this next one. I'm a firm believer, though, Sean, that if your arm is away from your body and the ball hits it, handball. Like, unless it hits your body and then the hand, if it hits your hand and it's anywhere other than against you, you should be playing football as if you have no arms. Like, fair enough, it might be for balance, but it's handball. So, here at 48 hours, you give away the penalty. You're involved. Burke. Don't give pens. Keep your hands down. It's not volleyball. And then straight away, Sean. I've been carving a copy of yours. <laughs> now, there's a mix-up of who this might be. Sky says it was Osborne. You're saying it was Incorrect. Souza. Slow it down. You have a look. Osborne is nearby, but Osborne has his hands on his man. This is Vinny Souza. Maybe he's got three. He doesn't have three. Maybe he doesn't have three. But Souza makes up for it. He does, because he scores the next goal. Fair play. He scores it because Osho loses the ball on his own 18 yard. Souza then smashes it in. A brace for Osho, brace for Branthwaite, brace for Dunk. There's braces all over the place. It's brace week here at Premier League. It's like my knees. Okay, moving on up, Sean. A five-goal game, which is going to accumulate into an Arsenal six-goal game, which was just bullying West. We'll get to that in a minute. 3-2 to Newcastle, away at Forest. Who's up for you first? Well, they were a pretty good band, but not a very good left-back. It's Tavares. It is Tavares. (laughs) That's a, that's a joke. I'll leave it in. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> He's absolutely blind to this pass because mm-hmm. this pass is phenomenal. Is it Trippier? I think it's Trippier. It's true. This is a, you can tell this is a, like a training ground exercise and outside of the boot from Bruno G. Delicious. The ball to him though is, if this was like assist or goal, I'm taking assist every day. This is a full on across the entire box cross mm-hmm. and Bruno Gamares just, he, t- he takes the mitt <laughs> a little bit here and then he kisses the badge. Because he's leaving in the summer. <laughs> okay, next goal. I refuse to give this to anyone but Dubravka. The goalkeeper should not be this far off his line. This is the trend this week. The striker has two men coverage. If the goalie is on his six-yard line, defenders cannot stop him. Alanga just slips it straight through his legs. The only way he can score is through his legs or to try and dink him. And if he does dink him, those two defenders running at full speed get to that ball and clear it. So, Dubravka, what are you doing? What have you done? Stay on your line. There's love- no need for you to come out. I love watching because it was like Nick Pope was in goal. Yeah. Because that's the kind of dumb stuff he'd be doing. Yeah, Nick Pope does come out of love. He did when the handball against Liverpool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you're not Manuel Neuer. You're Martin Dubravka. It's Ryan Yates. Yeah? Yeah. Why is that? It's as simple as missing a clearing header. And Botman to Shah is not the striker partnership I thought I'd be talking about. Mm. But my word was it beautiful. Yeah, I think Tavares has got away easy here because Tavares was marking Shah. And then... Yeah, but that don't matter. Yates mm. missed the header. Yeah, he did. And then it bounced from he did, a... he did get bullied by Byrne. Nah. No? No, Byrne's on the guy behind Yates. Oh, fair Yates enough. literally just jumped and missed it. You guys will have to look and get in the comments. His, his fringe took it past his... But Nottingham Forest did not make it easy for them. hudson Adoy, Sean, I know how much you love him. He's all right. <laughs> Scoring in consecutive games, leveling the game at 2-2. Easy one here. Miley, you're going to get in the way. Get in the way properly. Don't just swing your hip and that diagonal sticking leg out. It gives it a nice little spot to bounce off of. Didn't it? His leg or his hip? It's his arm. Off his arm. Which is attached to his hip. His arm's attached to his hip? It's here. Like, it's pulled in. Someone did not it's listen pulled to in. the skeleton song at school. <laughs> your hip bone's the arm bone is not arm connected bone. to the, arm, the hip bone. <laughs> it's not. But no, he's doing the chicken wing attempt to block, where you just put your elbow out and they're like, it's a penalty. 
the either way, the either way, Miley, come on. Smiley, Miley. Not so smiley. The Newcastle desperately needed this win. And they found it in Bruno Gamares. Sean, who's a vote for you? Alanga. Yeah. He was having a beautiful... He was. And he ruined the entire thing <laughs> by being unable to make a 10-yard pass out of his own defense. Bruno G, as has been researched, will score from anywhere at any given time, <laughs> if given the opportunity. And Carl celebrated like a Newcastle, even though he's a Chelsea fan. Tune into the live stream Monday. <laughs> Got a live stream? Potentially today, if you're watching today. <laughs> if you're watching the day after today, then you missed the stream. <laughs> Go back and watch, rewatch the stream. They'll be in the live section of our YouTube channel. Bringing us to our biggest game of this weekend. It's not West game. Ham. This is a derby. Small game. Bringing two, us to small one. London Shut up. Only one of them's won a European trophy. Not Neither. Arsenal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Champions of Europe. <laughs> You'll never sing that. They can, they can, West Ham can. So the first of two, so the first of two London derbies this weekend. Chelsea Palace is obviously on the Monday, but Sunday. Arsenal versus West Ham. Ha, oh, Sean. Arsenal did not want to let up on them. I've never felt worse for a goalkeeper in my life than I feel for Ariola at mm. West Ham. He was playing a blinder as well. Just Loads of great saves. Him and Flecken, two best keepers in the league. Yeah, Vicario's cool. fallen off. But Ariola faces so many shots, <laughs> it's so hard for him to not concede six a game. So for the first goal here as well, another corner goal. It's been so many corner goals these last two weekends. For me, though... Saliba gets almost an unmarked header. Alvarez just didn't jump. But what is he doing? He is a tiny man. He, I know, but he's got to jump. West Ham are asleep for this whole game. Saliba, free header. Alvarez runs around like he's lost. I feel like you've got another easy one here. Another easy one? Mm. Well, yeah, it's Ariola. <laughs> I feel bad for him. Trust Why? me, I feel bad. Because he's got to do all the work at the back. It's a shame that there's no good defenders. Mm. Because obviously he's had to give away the pen. Yeah. It's a soft. Well, ball. I don't know. He does catch him. It's yeah. Conor Gallagher. It, it's with his Sergio shoulder, man. At Anfield, this isn't given. It didn't really make much difference, though. Because the third goal did not take long to follow it up. Gabriel headed in. So the whole attacking side, all four of them, were offside by quite a margin. They've all tried to jump back on. And West Ham have seen it all but Ben Johnson. He didn't. He jumped back, put everyone on side, then couldn't keep up with any of them. And then Alvarez ended up on the floor underneath Gabriel, who he was supposed to be marking. It's harsh to give it to Alvarez, so I'm going to give it to Ben Johnson here. Playing everyone on. Playing everybody on side. Just falling for their little trap and jumping in. He's a changed man. Now Who's this? this oh, gone. This one could have been three different players. Yep. So I have written down. Suchek. Lazy pass. I also have written down. Alvarez. Looks lost. <laughs> I also have written down. Aguered. Is scared of Erdegaard. But overall, Suchek started the chaos. First mistake. Thomas Suchek. This good tackle. Mm -hmm. And then just stabbing it for no reason when he could just stand up and play a... 30-yard pass to bombardeering Kudas. That's fair. I think he should do better. He should, but he doesn't. Like so. you said, this could have been anyone. Suchek. Next one's easy for me, though. Gwed. What you poor, poor man. He got so horribly... Pass comes in. It's beautiful. Saka, outside the left foot, just twists him. Honestly, just... <clears throat> completely. Poor guy. He got so badly done. I felt bad watching it. Well, let me tell you something. The next one's easier. Because Declan Rice may have just scored the second best goal of his... And probably the best goal of his career. The best goal he scored at the Olympic Stadium. <laughs> and it wasn't for West Ham. Mm. <laughs> it was against West Ham. It was delicious. It was beautiful. This is a goal that West Ham fans wish they could have celebrated. Yeah. West Ham were clapping as well, I think. This is 30 to 35 yards. All the people that were left in West Ham. Smash it. This oh, is horrible. That's your own boy. <laughs> your own boy's just done that. That's like when Lampard scored against Chelsea. But... Horrible. Closing off then with Villa versus Man United. Aston Villa obviously desperate for points. And Man United desperate to show they're back on form. Hoyland with a tap-in from another corner. He should not have been onside. Is the whole defensive line jump forward? The only player that didn't? Ollie Watkins. <laughs> Just stood there watching. Poor, stuck in the mud. Poor guy. Poor guy. He's so good at scoring. Defence is not his strong suit, man. He got left on the post. He was just watching going, oh, no. Sean, this next one, I haven't got a clue. I mean, what is going on? I mean, if you've seen the goal, please help me out in the comments because it's just chaos. It's chaos. I, I can't give it to anyone <laughs> because everybody touched the ball on the pitch mm -hmm. and still somehow Villa scored. Yep. And Douglas Louise did the most shithouse celebration I've ever seen straight <laughs> at Onana. <laughs> oh, have that. Onana was having an absolute blinder this game. He is Allison. Made incredible you. saves. But I don't know. I'm not giving him that goal either. He's not saving that. It's four yards out. It did deflect. But I, I think it's rough to give that as a deflection because when it goes to Douglas The Lewis. cross is a deflection. The yeah, shot's the, not. No, no, the shot isn't. No, the deflection, come, the deflection yeah. comes from the cross. But so I don't know 
It's there, hard. I think, are we just calling it no one? I'm calling it no one, but in the comments, if you have an yeah, opinion on, on it, it, please let me know yeah. because I need help with this. I mean, in the long run, it didn't really matter because Matty Cash is on the pitch. You're blaming Matty? Uh, no, I'm blaming Matty Cash. Okay, I was going to say. Matty Cash for the next goal because oh, he just forgets what McTominay is there for. McTominay is there to steal the win and he does. Matty Cash is on the wrong side of him, forgets what he's supposed to be doing, falls asleep for two seconds and boy. The still image for the thumbnail of the highlights video has Matty Cash sideways on the <laughs> back of Scott McTominay. There's it all. Okay, that's it for Match Week 24. We will see you on the next one. Sean? Like the video, like the video.